Welcome once again to Some Good Seeds. On this Saturday morning, September the 10th, glad to have you with me today. Uh, our reading today is in Lamentations chapters 3, 4, and 5, and Revelation chapter 15. Um, Lamentations, what a book. What, uh, what a soul-searching, what a time of looking deep into the recesses of one's heart to see what's going on there. It's just an amazing, amazing book. Uh, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25 and 6 and 31 and 32 is the portion that I want us to consider, the seed that I want to plant this morning. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Verse 31, for the Lord will not cast off forever, though he causes grief, yet he will show compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. I've entitled this devotion today, Hope in the Trial. Uh, there, is, there is great hope in this passage for me, and I think for anyone who ever has ever had a question or wonders about what is taking place in their life, uh, the trials that they're going through, the temptations, the difficulties, the heartaches. Uh, we all experience those. We experience affliction. We experience those times of questioning the uh, troubling in our heart, uh, the aching that is going on, the wondering why in the world, why me, what is, what's going on here, and uh, so the realization that the the that Jeremiah goes through here is the realization that uh, the trial is not going to last forever, and it's the answer to all of those questions. What is the answer to the question when we feel all these things, these emotions that we're going through, pouring out our heart, pouring out our complaint to the Lord? The answer is. Wait on the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Uh, this time is not the end. This state that we find ourselves in is not going to last forever. Uh, this is not the final chapter of a person's life at this point in time. Wait for the Lord. And he says to do so <laughs> quietly. That's, that's the difficult part at times, is it not? Uh, that suggests that there's no griping or complaining. Uh, there is definitely recognition. There's the understanding that we're going through this, but there is the realization of God's God's uh, 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 purposes, God's plan in our lives, and we can trust that. Uh, this time of trial that we are going through, it's not forever. Praise the Lord for that. The storm is not unending, though it seemed so at the time. I mean, can you imagine the Apostle Paul and the guys on the ship for 14 days, can't even see the light of the day, hard to distinguish day from night, tossed about this, this in the sea, all that. What are we supposed to do? Wait for the Lord. The time is not the end. This is not the final chapter. Wait, wait for the Lord. Uh, the storm that we go through, the trials that we are enduring, that it came to pass. Uh, there's purpose in all that we're going through. So wait for the Lord. Trust him in the midst of that. I mean, how many times... Have I looked at a situation in my own life where I, I thought it was over, I felt like giving up, I wanted to quit, you know, just struggling with the whole thing, and then it passed, and I, it was a new day. Uh, God was faithful, and I look back on that and think, what, why in the world did I not trust the Lord there? Uh, he's still good. He is still faithful. He is still at work in your life and in mine, and we can trust that. Uh, he allows the trials and to come for the purpose of bringing us closer, for, to trust us, to cause us to trust more and to gain more of the likeness of Christ in our lives. So, dear one, wait. Wait on the Lord. Wait for him. Wait for his timing. Wait for his purpose to be fulfilled, the plan of God to be worked out in and through your life. So, it's a message of hope today. And it's a, it's a passage that I need to remind myself of over and over again. Boy, when you look at this third chapter, it, it, the way that it breaks down, uh, a lot of agony in the first 21 uh verses, but then he waits on the Lord and trusts God. And so anyway, I want to encourage you with that today, that you can have hope and trust in the Lord. Amen. Pray the Lord will richly bless you. Hey, and if, if these little times of, of sharing together are a blessing to you, uh, give us a like, share it on your Facebook page, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, drop a note once in a while. That's always encouraging. I appreciate those notes that are dropped by each and every one of you. Thank you so much. May the Lord richly bless you today.